Every single day, over 100,000 bags pass through Melbourne Airport. But what if a massive system, vital to operations, needed to be completely rebuilt while keeping an entire airport running 24 hours a day, seven days a week? This isn't just an airport. It is a living, breathing mega machine, and right now it is undergoing a multi-billion dollar transformation that will reshape its future. This demands an extraordinary level of logistical and engineering precision that most travelers never consider. It is a continuous battle against disruption, making every upgrade a high-stakes, real-time puzzle. Get ready to discover the mind-blowing engineering secrets of an airport that never sleeps. What does it take to upgrade a giant like this without missing a single beat? Long before it became the bustling hub we know today, Melbourne Airport, or Tullamarine as it is often called, was born from a bold vision. Back in the 1960s, as the world embraced the jet age, Australia needed a gateway to match. Between 1964 and 1970, engineers and builders transformed a vast area into what would become Australia's first ever airport built specifically for jet aircraft. This was a significant moment, as it marked a shift in how Australia connected with the rest of the world, moving beyond older, smaller airfields. The airport continued to grow, adapting to bigger and bigger planes. For example, in 2008, a massive project widened the main north-south runway by 7.5 metres on each side. This involved digging out 81,000 tonnes of earth and installing 7 kilometres of drainage pipes, all to make room for the giant wingspan of the Airbus A380 Super Jumbo. This was the biggest single airfield construction project in the airport's 35-year history at the time. But as passenger numbers soar to levels unimaginable even a decade ago, the airport faces its biggest challenge yet. With over 76 million travellers expected by 2042, Melbourne Airport desperately needs more space in the sky. The current two intersecting runways simply cannot keep up with the demand. That is why building a third runway is not just an upgrade. It is absolutely vital for Victoria's future, ensuring adequate capacity for decades to come. The new north-south runway will be a massive 3,000 metres long. To give you an idea of that size, it is like lining up 30 football fields end to end. This new runway will be built 1.3 kilometres to the west of the existing north-south runway. This parallel setup is key, allowing planes to take off and land at the same time, which will cut down on delays and help more airlines fly into Melbourne. This parallel system significantly increases the airport's capacity by enabling simultaneous operations. But here is a twist. As part of this project, the existing east-west runway, which is currently 2,286 metres long, will be shortened by 346 metres from its western end, making it 1,940 metres long. Why shorten it? This is part of a clever plan to share aircraft noise more fairly across nearby communities. Later on, to balance things out, the eastern end of this same runway will be extended by the exact same amount. The decision to shorten and then re-extend the existing east-west runway for noise sharing is a powerful example of how complex engineering projects are not purely technical. This whole third runway project is expected to cost around $3 billion, and planes should start landing on it by 2031. Building a runway this big means moving mountains of earth, literally. Engineers estimate they will need to move about 6 million cubic meters of earth and fill material for the third runway. To put that in perspective, that is enough dirt to fill over 2,400 Olympic-sized swimming pools. A huge part of this material, between 70 to 90 percent, will be sourced right from the airport site itself, reducing the need for countless trucks on public roads. This efficient use of on-site materials minimizes external traffic impact and construction costs. But it is not just about moving earth, it is about making sure the ground is stable. Melbourne is built on soft, squishy marine clays, which can cause big problems with settlement. Without special ground improvements, the runway area could sink by as much as 500 millimeters over 27 years, which is half a meter or about the height of a standard kitchen counter. Engineers are using clever techniques like extensive ground improvement to limit this sinking to no more than 150 millimeters or about the length of a standard pen. The sheer volume of earthworks is impressive, 
but the reason behind it, particularly the mention of highly compressible marine clays, reveals a deeper engineering challenge. This is not just about moving dirt, it is about fundamentally transforming unstable ground to support immense loads. Building such a massive project, while the airport is running 24-7, is incredibly complex. Construction will happen 18 to 24 hours a day, seven days a week during some stages. One major challenge is controlling the dust created by heavy vehicles on temporary roads, especially the runway perimeter road. This dust can affect workers' health and even damage the structural integrity of the roads, leading to potholes and safety risks. To fix this, they are using special dust suppression and soil stabilization techniques, which not only eliminate dust, but also create stable, waterproof road surfaces that last longer and prevent road damage. This proactive approach ensures safety and efficiency during the demanding construction period. But the upgrades are not just happening on the airfield. What about the hidden systems inside the terminals that handle millions of bags and keep us safe? The airport is undergoing a $500 million project to completely revamp its international baggage system in Terminal 2. They are replacing the old conveyor belts with a brand new individual carrier system. This smart system will track every single bag from the moment you check it in until it reaches the aircraft. This means bags can be accepted much earlier, giving passengers and airlines more flexibility. The airport CEO even compared it to doing open heart surgery while running a marathon because of the challenge of upgrading such a critical system without stopping operations. This massive upgrade is set to be finished by 2027. Getting through airport security can be a hassle, but Melbourne Airport is making it smoother and faster with new state-of-the-art security screening technology. In Terminal 1, and now across all terminals, they have introduced advanced body scanners and CT X-ray technology lanes. These body scanners use millimeter wave technology which is like the waves from your mobile phone, not x-rays, so there are no known health risks. They create a generic stick figure image to protect your privacy, and they can detect all items worn or carried, not just metal. This upgrade makes security easier for travelers and aligns with Australia's latest aviation security laws. Driving to the airport can be a headache, but a huge project called NAM Way is changing that. This two-stage project is building a new express loop road network to separate public traffic from commercial vehicles like taxis and buses. Stage 1, which opened in July 2023, created a direct link from the Tullamarine Freeway to the Terminal 4 Transport Hub. Stage 2, currently under construction and expected to finish by 2026, will connect the freeway directly to new pickup and drop-off zones inside the T123 car park for Terminals 1, 2 and 3. This means you will not have to deal with roundabouts or traffic lights to get to your terminal's pickup and drop-off areas. A new pedestrian bridge will also provide direct access from the T-123 car park to Terminal 2. The main forecourt will then be reserved only for commercial vehicles. Beyond these major projects, Melbourne Airport is also making many smaller but important improvements inside the terminals. This includes upgrading toilet facilities across all terminals, expanding duty-free shops in Terminal 2 and transforming retail areas in Terminal 1. They are also upgrading the baggage hall for Virgin Australia in Terminal 3 with more space and new carousels, and even upgrading airport trolleys to be smoother and quieter. These massive engineering feats are truly impressive, but what is the real cost of this transformation, and what other challenges does a project of this scale face? Overall, Melbourne Airport's capital spending for the financial year 2024 was over $800 million, a huge jump from the previous year. To fund these massive projects, the airport has even launched its largest bond issuance ever, raising over $1 billion from European funding markets. This huge investment is not just about shiny new buildings. It is expected to create up to 37,000 additional jobs by 2046 and contribute up to $6 billion each year to Victoria's economy. The airport itself generated over $1.2 billion in revenue in the last year, showing its vital role as an economic powerhouse. Even with meticulous planning, projects of this scale face significant hurdles. One major concern is aircraft noise for nearby communities like Kalor and Buller. Melbourne Airport is actively working on a noise-sharing plan and a noise amelioration plan, which could include improvements like double-glazing windows and acoustic insulation for eligible homes. 
they are also conducting an independent study into the health impacts of aircraft noise. Another big challenge is the Melbourne Airport Rail Link, a crucial connection to the city. The Victorian government recently announced a four-year delay for this $7 billion project. While the airport initially pushed for an underground station to future-proof the design, it has now agreed to support the government's preferred above-ground solution to try and speed things up. Construction also impacts daily operations. For example, up to 2,000 parking spaces will be removed during the Nam Way Stage 2 construction. There are also environmental challenges such as PFAS chemical contamination from old firefighting foam, which requires ongoing cleanup efforts. Despite these challenges, the airport is committed to sustainability, with plans for a bigger on-site solar farm and electric vehicle charging points for ground support equipment. From its humble beginnings as Australia's first jet port to its current status as a global aviation powerhouse, Melbourne Airport is constantly evolving. These upgrades are building a future where Melbourne remains a leading gateway to the world, ready for millions more journeys. What part of this massive upgrade surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this deep dive into airport engineering fascinating, hit that like button, subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds for more incredible stories, and do not forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update.